My dad is from the Aztec tradition, and I've always grown up learning that all life is sacred, that all life should be protected, and that it's really important to be connected with nature. One of my favorite places to go is up in Ederland, Colorado, up in the mountains. It's something that I love to do, being outside in nature, being in the fresh air, playing in the rivers. We play in the lake, we explore the woods. We go hiking up there a lot, and it's really fun because every time you go, you find something new, you have a different experience. And then they have this really nice carousel there. It's really fun to go to. We go there um, almost every single time that we go. The forest of Colorado is something that I really love about being here. These beautiful forests are something that I want to preserve. I first started getting involved with climate change when I was around six years old. I was young, so I didn't understand everything, but I could tell that something wasn't right with our Earth. And then I started asking my mom about it. She's always really been there for me when, whenever I need help, whenever I don't understand something, whenever I'm confused. I could see that climate change was gonna affect how I was gonna grow up. It was gonna affect my community. It was gonna affect the world. Now that we go in the woods sometimes, like, it's devastating because a lot of it has been killed off by pine beetles. Because of the warming temperature, they're able to go to higher climates and they're not dying off as quickly in the winter. They're surviving longer and they're killing off more trees. And this is something that's really gonna affect the forest of Colorado. The pine beetle kill is really tied into forest fires because the more pine beetle kill there is, the more dead trees there are. The more dead trees there are, the more logs there are to feed the fire. We're up here in Boulder, Colorado on Sunshine Canyon. All this area, all around here, is the burn area of the Four Mile Fire that happened in 2010. It was really sad for all of us. I had a few friends that lived up here. They lost their houses to their fires. They lost their pets. They lost everything. This is whatever's left of my friend Nikki's house. It's really sad because it's hard to believe that this is our house. There are hundreds of homes that burnt in that fire. It was the most costly fire in Colorado. We were on air alert for like two weeks after that. It was definitely something that affected all of us in some way, it changed people's lives forever. You might not believe that climate change is real, but you can't deny the fact that we are losing millions of acres and trees. Animals are going extinct. It's really going to affect the birds, all the deer. It's going to affect the bears that come and harvest off the berries. And there's going to be less prey for mountain lions. And you know, you can't have a full healthy ecosystem here in Colorado without the trees. We see that it's happening here. You know, the proof is right in front of us. It's happening now, this is happening here, and this is real. I think as the caretakers of this beautiful land, it's our responsibility to do something about it. That's a really big reason why I'm doing this Guardian, to do something about it. I think it's really important to let people know that instead of just knowing what the problem is and feeling terrible about it, you know what to do about it. On GMOs together at the big GMO rally. And they have unregulated coal ash that is just sitting there that is blowing into our streams, our, our um, rivers, our water systems. In order to change the world, you know, you have to change the way that you think about the earth, about each other. And, um... It's like kids giving the hope to other kids.
Our government has this thing called the public trust and it says the water and the air should be protected for everybody to enjoy and it doesn't belong to one single person. They should understand what it means to protect our air, to protect our water, and to protect our future. Youth don't really have any political rights, so we can't vote and we can't um, compete with our corporations, so we just have to trust that our governments are going to make the right decisions on behalf of our future. They have the responsibility of ensuring the next generation a habitable planet. I like um, playing with my dog out in a field. I like going to the park, playing soccer. I like to go hiking. I like to go walking up in the mountains, I like exploring little rivers and creeks. My name is Shita Scott and I'm an 11-year-old environmental activist from Boulder, Colorado.